I walk into Wachovia. I just opened this account two months ago. So it's a new account. So whenever I would go in there, I'd say, hey, I need a $7,000, $6,000, anything over $3,000, they had to call to get permission, right? Like uh, authorization. So she's like, okay, I got to go call. I said, no problem. So the, the girl walks in the back. I'm sitting there waiting. All of a sudden, a massive person reaches over my hand and grabs my wrist. And somebody grabs it from the other one and they pull my hands behind my back. These are two of possibly the largest law enforcement officers I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, they're massive. Mm-hmm. And they they handcuff me and they say, you're um, uh, Mr. Sullivan, you're being detained. We're taking you into custody and you know putting you, uh, we're holding you until a detective gets here. Who are these guys? Uh, is this U.S. Marshals or is this cops or what? These are sheriff's deputies. Sher- sheriff's deputies. Right. Okay. And as they walk Sullivan, me Sullivan, in the right. right, as they walk me in the back, they're calling me Mr. Sullivan. Right. They sit me down, and by now I'm, you know, the Secret Service are looking for me. They're they're calling me. Uh, well, they were calling us John and Jane Doe, but now they figured out who we were, and so now I'm on the Secret Service's most wanted list. I'm not like number one. At that, at, right, like I probably was, but I, 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 we just found out I was on, like, on that list. So it, it's, it's getting bad. So they sit me down and I'm waiting. And I remember thinking that the FBI was coming. You know, I don't really know. At that point, I couldn't tell you the difference between everybody. And then five minutes go by and, you know, I'm sitting there going, what is going on? Do you guys have any idea what's going on? They're like, we don't know. We're just grunts. We just do what we're told. So suddenly this guy walks in, he's probably in his, early thirties, maybe he walks in gray suit. I think he looks like he's FBI. He says, Hey, I'm a detective with the, uh, I want to say Richland County, you know, whatever sheriff's department, uh, or police department, whatever. And I was like, Oh, okay. And he says, yeah, listen, we've got an issue. Wachovia, Wachovia wants this. They want us to arrest you. He said that they, they're saying that you've got three mortgages on, on your house. And I go, is that illegal? And he looked at me and he went, you know, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. and, I, I, and I distinctly remember thinking, I'm walking out of here. All I have to do is convince this guy I haven't done anything wrong. He's already said he doesn't know. So he gets on the phone with the head of Wachovia's fraud department. And he's tell, saying, this guy is running what's called a shotgunning scam, mm-hmm. which is absolutely right. And so- What is, what is a shotgun? It's where you're, you, you close on so many loans simultaneously, they can't catch it. Anyway, they, they start going back and forth and he's on the phone and he's like, um, why did you close three loans? And I said, I, you know, what, why are you pulling? What? I said, I, it's not illegal. I have a first mortgage, a second mortgage and a, and a home equity line of credit. That's perfectly legal. And he goes, and you can hear the guy. Yeah, it's not, they're all first mortgages. And I said, I read every one of those documents. Not one of them said they were first mortgages and they don't. First mortgages don't say they're first mortgages. It's the placement of the mortgage placement of the lien that determines is their first, second, or third. So it's possible that I wouldn't have known it, certainly that I could have read those documents and not known. And he's like, that's not true. And he's screaming. And uh, so I go, yeah, listen. And and he said, well, you're taking out all cash. Why are you taking out all cash? I said, well, I mean, I don't know if this, this sounds, I, said, I don't know, this might be illegal. I said, I don't know. I said, I mean, I work for, for a, I work for a, um, a labor company, mm-hmm. labor on demand. I pull out my business card. You can call. <laughs> so I'm like, I work for labor on demand. And I said, um, we, we hire a lot of guys that like, they don't have bank accounts. So the company pays them. And then I'll, usually I'll pull out money and I'll, I'll cash their checks because they get charged like 10% of these check cashing companies. And I feel bad. I know the checks are good. So I just deposit them. I mean, I don't think that I said, but I don't, I don't know if that's illegal. I don't think that's illegal. Like if, if, and he's like, no, 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 that's fine. It's, it's, that's, that's a decent thing to do. It's not, that's fine. I'm like, oh, okay. So we're, so he's talking to the guy and, you know, Wachovia is screaming and hollering. He says, um, uh, he's doing that. You know, he's going back and forth, back and forth. So we're going back and forth back. And I'm just derailing everything this guy says. Yeah. And at one point he says, um, he's screaming, he's committing fraud. We want him arrested. And he's like, I don't know what to charge him with. And he's like, you know, he, he's saying these aren't. You know, how did you, you know, how did you, he's like, Hey, look, how did you even do this? What? I go, look, I didn't do this. 
I said, I came to Wachovia. I met with a loan officer. I said, I need a first mortgage. I need to pull out like $100,000. I want to start buying houses. He goes, that's right. You own another house here too, don't you? I said, I do. I said, we're putting a new roof on it. We're going to build an addition. We're putting in a pool. I'm buying one right down the street from that one. I said, so I'm, I'm obviously, I'm pulling out money. Mm-hmm. I said, so I told them I need $100,000. They said, that's fine. We can, we, they said they could only get me $100,000 out. For something about Fannie Mae guidelines, which is true. And I, and I said, so then she said, I, I can get you, I can send you to a friend of mine who's a loan officer. She can get you a second mortgage, which she did. I said, then I told her she could only get me a hundred thousand or so, 190,000 and the other. And she said, you should get a, an equity line of credit if you're going to be doing like, you know, um, renovating properties. So she sent me to somebody and they got me an equity line of credit. I said, I said, I, you know, I haven't committed fraud. I said, I wouldn't know how to commit fraud if you told me. I said, what sounds more reasonable? A guy that worked for a labor company ripped off a bunch of banks for over half a million dollars. I said, or some loan officers got together and did something illegal. I said, there's a problem at the bank. And he says, I think you've got a problem at the bank. And this guy goes nuts. And while he's screaming, he needs to be arrested. This is fraud. My loan officers have not done anything illegal. They wouldn't do that. He says, look at his ID. His ID is fake. His ID starts with 000. South Carolina IDs start with 000. This guy's in California. He has no idea. So when he says that, he go, he the the detective looks pull, looks at my ID and he goes Listen, he said, this is a real ID. I ran this guy through NCIC. He said, this is Gary Sullivan. And I, and I looked at him, I go, now I'm not Gary Sullivan. I go, come on, bro. What are we doing here? And he goes, I know Gary, I know. And he says, I'm going to take him downtown. I'm going to talk to my, whatever, Lieutenant, whoever, captain, and I'm going to fill out a police report and I'll let you know. And he hangs up. I get up, they've taken the handcuffs off. I stand up as we're walking out with the detectives, as we're all kind of walking out, he goes, Hey, you have an ID. Do you have a driver's license? Mm -hmm. And I went, um, I do, but it's in like Nevada. Mm -hmm. And he goes, Oh, that's right. He goes, you're from Vegas. And he looks at the two deputies and they all kind of grin. And I think he ran me through NCIC, Mm -hmm. which means he ran a statewide criminal database, which means he thinks I've been arrested three times for prostitution in Vegas. Ah, right. I listen, I'm humiliated. (laughs) I was just like, and the grin told me, and I was just like, oh man. And so one of the cops goes, uh, here, give me the ID. Takes the ID, he goes, I'll check and see. Mm -hmm. Because I have to follow him back in my car. So he goes, and by the way, my car is, is in the name Michael Eckert. So Michael Eckert, he doesn't have a photograph of Michael Eckert. Right. Because you can't pull up photographs from other states. So he doesn't have a photograph, but he knows that's not my car. And he asked me, whose car are you driving? I said, oh, that's my boss, Michael Eckert. And I said, that's my boss. And he goes, oh, Michael Eckert. I said, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And he's like, and I'm like, oh my God. So I'm thinking he knows Michael Eckert, knows it's registered in North Carolina, knows the address, which is where I was currently living. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. So the police officer or the, um, sorry, deputy grabs the ID, walks outside, comes back. I have no idea if this homeless guy has a a driver's license in Nevada. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He had nothing on him. He comes back and he he goes, does he have a valid license? He goes, yeah, it's valid. And he hands it to him or he hands me the ID. And he says, uh, he said, he goes, is valid? And he looked at me, he goes, yeah, well, he said, it, it says he's like, he says he's five foot 11, mm-hmm. like it was like five ten, five eleven. I'm clearly not five ten or five eleven. And they all look at me and I go, fellas with a good pair of shoes <laughs> like that. And they all go, ha, 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 follow us, Gary. Yeah. I follow them back yeah. to the police station. Becky is calling me mm-hmm. on the phone, screaming her head off. Now I'd always told Becky, if I ever get arrested, Immediately go get me a lawyer. The lawyer will be able to get me out on bond because it'll I'll be arrested for something stupid. Mm-hmm. I said it'll be something like 
trying to cash a check, you know, a fake check or, uh, you know, use of something. I said, it won't be, the, all my IDs are real. So it won't be for, for a fake ID. So my ID, my ID won't be in question. And most, most um, police departments and sheriffs at that time did not run your fingerprints through APHIS. So they didn't, because they charge them for that. So they don't, they don't typically do it unless your identity is in question. Mine wouldn't be. I have a valid driver's license or a valid ID in that state. So I go back, she's screaming. She's like, oh my God, you don't understand. I just checked the, I just checked the, um, just checked the internet, the website. You are number one on the secret services most wanted list. And I was like, I, I got bigger problems right now. They just held me in the bank. I'm following them <laughs> right problem. now. I know. And she was like, yeah, get on the, get on the interstate. Go, go. I cannot go. The detectives in front of me, the cops are behind me. They're escorting me to the police. Listen, she's like, oh my God, run, run. I go, look, I'm not a NASCAR driver. Like I'm driving, it's a, it's a, it's a sports car, but it's not going to outrun a radio or a yeah. helicopter. Like I am not, that's not going to happen. I know it looks, it seems nice. I'm not that guy. Um, so I was like, I can't. I said, look, you don't understand. I was in handcuffs 30 minutes ago. I just talked my way out of them. I'm going to mm -hmm. get out of this. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I said, the worst that happens is I'll be arrested as Gary Sullivan. You can get me a police, uh, you can get me a, um, an attorney. He can get me out. And she goes, I'm not getting you an attorney. I'm not getting you out oh, on no. bond. Becky. I'm not risking everything I've got for you because she has all the money. We've got seven, $800,000 at this point. Mm -hmm. So, oh, and by the way, she's not even in North Carolina at this point. She's relocated to Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. Because when this scam broke, fell apart, we were going to move to Texas. So nice. we, we were already moving there. So, but by the way, just a small tangent, where do you store money in situations like this? That, uh, like when you talk about 800,000, do you have to keep moving accounts to make sure it's not accessible so by there's about FBI? Six, well, there's about six or 700,000 accounts, but keep in mind, I'm getting that out in cash. Like there's no Bitcoin. There's no, none of that stuff exists. So my, you know, I, I, I probably should have bought diamonds or bought gold or bought, like, I don't know any of that. All I could think of is go in slowly, be patient. Mm -hmm. um, don't drain the accounts, you know, fluctuate them. Like I was writing, getting cashier's checks from one account to another. So the balances were doing this, mm -hmm. you know, they weren't just going, Shoo, they were doing this. And then one day, boom, they're gone. Okay. Got it. So, got it. so we got out like whatever. We got, we've gotten out like six or 700,000. There's still like six or 700,000 in the bank, mm -hmm. but I, I'm not going back. I'm done. I actually, to be honest with you. So, well, look, I, I go in, so I go into the police station and what well, first she says, if you go in the police station, I'm done. If you get arrested, you're done. Mm -hmm. I said, well, then I better not get arrested. And I hang up the phone, the cop's standing behind my car, mm -hmm. get out. I go in the police station. I walk in, I fill out the police report. He tells me, I got to talk to my captain real quick. Can you wait? He couldn't leave me in his cubicle. He goes, can you wait in the hallway? I can't leave you in the cubicle. I said, no, no problem. So I go and I wait in the hallway. In the hallway are a whole wall full of, on the corkboard, um, wanted posters. Mm -hmm. Black and white, black and white. Like, you know, car thief, you know, rapist, murderer, secret services, uh, uh, most wanted. Mm -hmm. And I'm on the, I'm, I'm, my face is right there. I'm like, holy Jesus. And, you know, everything in me told me, run, bro, just, just fucking haul ass right now, right now, just go. You're, you've, your luck's run out. Mm -hmm. Not that I even thought he was, there were so many, I didn't think he was going to see it, mm -hmm. but it, it just, everything in me just said, run. The, the problem is if you've ever been a police, into a police station, you're not getting out of it. The, you understand? The, There's get a lot in, of cops around. Well, not just that, but they buzz you in. Yeah. You get in the elevator, you have to punch in a code. Right. You have to punch in a code to get back out of the elevator. Yeah. You have to punch in a code to get into the next door. There's like, a, I mean, it, it was, it, it's impossible. Like I'm never, I'm not going to get in the elevator. Mm -hmm. So guy comes back up to, or the cop comes back up. He said, Hey Gary, appreciate it. No problem. My captain said, we're good. We're going to wait for a phone call from the, no, wait, the, the district attorney called already. Mm -hmm. They're looking into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I go downstairs. He walks me out to my car. He said, look, do me a favor. He's like, we, we do have some serious questions at this point. Like the district attorney said, there's, there's some, some things up. 
-hmm. He said, I, I said, not with me. And he said, well, just do me a favor. He goes, don't, don't leave town. I said, bro, I own two houses here. I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm telling you right now. I said, Wachovia, they, they fucked up. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I believe you. I believe you. He said, I worry. He said, whatever. He's like, I hope you, I hope they were right. I'm mm -hmm. sure you're right. Okay. So I get in my car. I leave. I go to two more banks, pull out more money. But at one point I go into a bank and like two of the cashiers practically slam into each other trying to get to the phone and I could tell something's up. Like, yeah. oh, no, 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 something's up. So I back, I get in my car, back out. One of them even kind of runs out and looks at the tag number, you know? So I drive, I get in the interstate, I go. I, you know, Becky, of course, she's, you know, I'm sorry, I I love you. I right. would have never done that. I was just scared. I understand. <laughs> I go. Becky sounds like a handful. Oh my God, bro. Mm -hmm. 